Okay, hi, welcome to my channel. Today I thought a really good topic would be Monterey. This is a place where I grew up and I'd like to share it with you. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. So this next video is about, um, it's the backside of Fisherman's Wharf. Now Fisherman's Wharf has a rich history and I found a really interesting story is in 1906, there was a German uh, restaurant tour who um, used to make wiener schnitzel, which is like breaded meat. And so what he did is when they started fishing for abalone, he would pound the abalone really flat and he would bread it. And that's how the abalone steak came to be, is from that man. And then in 1916, the city of Monterey purchased the wharf and it has expanded ever since. There's wharf one that um, is right now it's pretty much tourists and there's a few little fish markets but there's restaurants and it's really nice and the commercial side is wharf number two and that's where all the fish come in and that's where they process a lot of that fish and where most of the commercial side is and um in the in the day you know in between the in world war ii and in the 70s um a lot of fishing took place. I mean, it still does, but back then there was just so much fishing. So this is a statue of Santa Rosalia. Now she is the patron saint of um, a fisherman. And so that I remember I was young when that uh, statue was uh, put up and we had a huge ceremony every year in Monterey in September, there's a Santa Rosalia festival, which is now called the Italian festival, <laughs> Italian festa, but it started out as a Santa Rosalia festival where we just give her thanks for watching over the fishermen and keeping them safe. But the interesting story that I found out about her was she really wasn't that involved with the fishermen at all but that she was a young woman who who went into into the cave in Sicily I think she was on Mount Pellegrino I think and um, and they found her bones later but she was a very giving person and the person that once they found her body the fishermen ended up having a really great catch it was a really great season and they attributed it to her and so uh, she is overlooking us and making sure that all the fishermen and um, are safe and they return home that's always an interesting story I love it <laughs> And down by the wharf, you can see here, this is the Custom House Plaza. Now this Custom House Plaza is where everything funneled through uh, back, you know, when Monterey was the um, capital of, of California. All of the cargo that would come from all over the world would funnel into Monterey Bay. It would go through the Custom House Plaza and then, then it would get dispersed. So it was a pretty important port at that time. And um, it's still there for us to, to look at. So it's Monterey has a rich history with the Spanish as well. But this is just a few highlights, um, a little piece of Monterey history. In the 1940s, there were 19 fully operational canneries and they were canning sardines like crazy. And, um, and at that time in the 40s, a lot of people started building their um, businesses on the wharf. And I don't know when my family started their business, but I bet you it could, be, could have been around that time because my grandmother was one of the cannery workers. She used to work in the canneries canning sardines. Then she and her husband started, um, started a fish market down on the wharf. And in the 40s, there was about 250,000 pounds of sardines that were canned per season. But by the end of the World War II, the sardines were just gone. They were just gone. And what happened, a lot of the Italians started opening up businesses uh, right after World War, right during World War II because of the Japanese internment camps. And so a lot of the Japanese business people, unfortunately, were put in these internment camps. But when they were released, a lot of the Italians hired those Japanese fishermen. So then they worked together um, on the wharf. So it's a really rich history of Italians and Japanese. And 
I know that there were Chinese divers and just working with the city and growing the um, the fishing business. And a lot of Italians came, uh, Sicilians came to Monterey because it was very similar to where they were from. Because in Monterey you have the ocean and then you have mountains. Um, there's a beautiful there's beautiful parks to go hiking in the mountains like Garland Ranch Park. I'll show you a video of that. And so it's a very diverse community with places that you can just go and, and view. And um, if you haven't been to Monterey, it's a really great place to visit. There's so much to do now. There's the aquarium. There's the recreation trail where you can walk along the beach and um, all the beautiful restaurants on the wharf, but it's a really great place and I call that my home. I was born and raised there. I grew up on the wharf. Um, from the time I was nine to the time I was 16, I was there every weekend working with my grandparents and my aunt and uncle and it was great. So the view in Monterey is amazing. You can see it in so many ways. So this video shows the, the view of the bay and um, it's up on one of the mountain hills in Monterey um, at my really good friend's house and you can see the most beautiful landscape. It's just, it's breathtaking, you know, it's really a beautiful place to be. So I hope this different venue uh, is working well. I hope you like it. I was thinking that maybe every once in a while I'll just do a little vlog of places that I visited to change up and to do something a little different on my channel. Let me know what you think. Is it interesting to you? Um, and as we come to the end of this video, I want to wish you the most wonderful new year filled with blessings. Um, I hope all your dreams come true for 2023. I'm looking forward to a lot of traveling. I'm hoping that um, I can have people join me on my journeys because, you know, these adventures are um, not only luxurious and fun and you get to see different places, but when you travel, you just open up you just open up your soul to new ways of being and anyway i wish you all the best and i'll see you next year ciao for now happy new year hi if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching it i really appreciate it what i wanted to tell you really quickly is that i'm having some really great trips for 2023 and if you're interested please reach out to me the first trip is an amalfi coast trip in italy and that's going from march 31st to april 7th 2023 there are only three spots left so if you're interested let me know it's for anyone is welcome and then I have my women's journey trip that's going to be in September, September 14th to the 23rd, nope, to the 24th, 2023, and that's going to be a women's journey, and it's going to be amazing. So if you're interested, let me know. I'm going to have links in the details, and then keep tuning in because there's going to be more trips. There's going to be another great trip for everyone going to Ireland and I might have a local one for the United States somewhere fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.